if you're an Amazon seller or are thinking of becoming one, we're living in the best time in the way technology is going for making our business as easy to run as possible. Now I'm gonna show you in this video an AI powered tool called Shulix that gives us the best insights on what we can do to improve on our products. Now, if you've been selling on Amazon for any period of time, you know that finding ways to stand out amongst your competitors is the number one key to getting you the most sales and most positive reviews on your product. And what Shulix does is exactly that. It analyzes every review you throw at it and picks apart everything from who's buying the product, the customer profile, the usage scenario, when it's being used the most, customer sentiment, customer expectations, and so much more. I'm gonna show how we use this AI software to find the key details that we can later share with our supplier so we can get them to improve on our products and get us the best selling items on Amazon. Now, Shulix has a whole bunch of different tools and you'll be surprised that some of the pricing is actually extremely low for this. And it's even less expensive when you use the link below in the description and my coupon code. It's gonna give you another 20% off and you can literally get this thing for pretty much under $10. You can literally start it for free now and you're gonna see how much of a game changer this tool really can be. Literally two days ago, I was doing product analysis and just checking out negative reviews on a product that I was looking to improve on. And then I was like, hey, there's gotta be an AI software out there for this. So that's how I found Shulix. Not only will the software be able to look at thousands of reviews when it would take me weeks to read that, but it's gonna pick out the main keywords and points of what I can do to actually improve on the product right away without me even having to skim through and read these reviews. Shulix does have a lot of features, everything from AI chatbots that can help with customer service, to even an open AI powered chat GPT bot that you can type in, hey, how can I improve on this product? And it will give you tailored answers on how you can improve the product you're looking at. To also review analysis, customer sentiment, what's actually making people wanna buy it. So what I wanna do is actually show you an example of how this works. So I was doing a review analysis, product analysis here on a bird feeder with camera. And I can start it by clicking on their little Chrome extension right here and it'll pretty much select as many products as I want to load, and it's gonna pull every review from these products. Some of these reviews are, you know, 656, 1,000 reviews, and without me having to read all 600 reviews here and 1,000 reviews here, it's gonna give me the key points of how that works. So what I can do is press Create Report. Okay, it took less than a minute to analyze those reviews. Let's press View Report, and then it's gonna take us right into the web app here, Voice of Customer AI, VOC AI. And then it's gonna break down the key information that I need to understand how to improve on my product. Now, I'm sure you've heard this in business quite a bit. You need to know your target audience. You need to have your customer avatar down to a T so you know exactly who's buying the product so you can curate your product images, your text, every part about your product to that ideal customer. And it cuts out all the guesswork, giving you the entire customer profile of who's buying it, when they're buying it, where they're buying it, and what are they using it for. So you can see right here, it says the consumer group most commonly mentioned is mother, the most commonly moment of purchase was Christmas, the most common location used is the backyard, the most common behavior is giving it as a gift. So number one, we're seeing people are using this around Christmas time. When I first looked at a smart bird feeder with camera, I was thinking, hey, this is a seasonal item. It's only gonna be selling well in the summertime when people are out in their backyards, birds are flying around. But look at this giant green bar here talking about what people are buying it for. They're saying they're giving it as a gift. And that correlates over here with when they're buying it. It says Christmas. So Christmas, even in the winter time, this product's bound to see a ton of sales and that'll carry on over into the spring and summer months afterwards. So that was key information I probably would have looked over right to begin with. Now I can come right over here to usage scenario and what are people using this for? Okay, obviously a lot of the reviews are gonna be saying bird watching, but we can look into specific reasons for each usage scenario and maybe find some key tidbits that we can later pull that information and put it in our listing, put it even another overlook thing is find these keywords and then put them in your advertising campaigns. You can take some of the reasons customers are buying the product and even translate that over into your product images and highlight some of these scenarios people are already envisioning in their head when they're thinking about buying this type of product. It'll give you a rating optimization. So 
all the good reviews were saying it's attractive, it's well made, it's a gift option. And then you can see over here, difficult to clean. Some of the negative reviews, poor design quality, defective product. But what's gonna give me a better look on all that is actually coming into one of my favorite things to look at, the customer sentiment. Now we're seeing the negative feedback. This is the important things we need to translate, give over to our supplier and say, hey, how can we improve on this so we don't get returns, so we don't get bad reviews? And one of the things I wouldn't have thought about when first looking at this is, wow, okay, people are saying this is not squirrel proof. Reasons for negative feedback. Users have reported the feeders are not effective against squirrels as they can easily break them and they're too heavy when a squirrel stands on it and it just kind of breaks off of the stand. Feeder malfunctions, unstable, easily damaged. So as long as we can say, hey, Mr. Mrs. Supplier, can we include sturdy hooks or however we're gonna set this up, it needs to be pretty much indestructible and not gonna fall off that stand. Then we can see all the positive feedback. Okay, fun to watch birds, easy to install. We're gonna wanna make sure again that we have good instruction manuals. We're getting all the sentiment from them, positive and negative feedback. All those reviews, I can press more and it just goes on and on. I can just keep reading seed spillage product breakage, perch issues. Customers have found issues with the perch, such as poor positioning. So whenever that bird lands on it, we wanna make sure they're in the best position for that camera that's built in on the feeder to actually capture the bird. So we can see all that. And then another amazing insight is the actual buyer motivation. These are the things that are actually converting buyers into purchasing the product, things that are very important here. So bird watching enjoyment. We can depict these moments of customers watching the birds in our images and just paint that picture so they know that this is the product for them. We're also looking at product functionality. Customers appreciated the clear plastic for optimal bird viewing, the removable tray for easily cleaning, and the heater that keeps the food warm. So these are all little tidbits of info that I can transfer over to my supplier. And when I'm sourcing this product, we can make sure all the problems are solved and all the positive things are enhanced. Then we can come down, there's even more information, customer expectations, what do they expect about this? We need quality improvement, durability concerns, hummingbird attraction. I would have totally looked over this whole squirrel proof requirement that customers wanted. They're saying they need a squirrel proof design. You heard me earlier talking about the AI chatbot. I can just click on it right here and right in this chat window right here, I can say, how can I prevent squirrels from getting in the feeder? And then their integrated chat GPT can give me information on this. And look at this, use a baffle. A baffle is a device that can be placed on the feeder pole or hung above the feeder to prevent squirrels from climbing in. It's a cone-shaped baffle. Use hot pepper. Squirrels don't like the taste of hot pepper. So you can try mixing some cayenne pepper into the bird seed. If all else fails, just build a squirrel feeder away from your bird feeder. So without having to you know, clunk around, open ChatGPT on my own, I have it built into the software that's gonna give me answers to any of the questions I have going forward with this product. Now there's a few other things I can show you with this before I jump off. One of them is social listening. I can type in bird feeder with camera, press search, and what social listening does, it's gonna pull up any article, video, or post made across Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, TikTok, and news outlets about this specific product, so maybe I can see what people are saying. And as a quick advice on that, I only see two YouTube videos coming up for this right now. And what I could do is go out and find influencers in a bird watching niche, something like that, that may have 10, 20, 30,000 followers, not too many. And I can just gift them this product and they may not even want payment for making the video. They might just want the free product because they have a smaller following. And then I can get influencers on YouTube since there's hardly any videos about it coming up. And I can be one of the only guys with all these videos saturating YouTube now with the bird feeder with camera product and that's gonna drive a lot more external traffic into my Amazon listings. And we'll take a quick look at the other tool here, the Market Insight, and I can just type in bird feeder with camera. You can even see some of the other suggested keywords that are coming up with 5G, with Wi-Fi, solar powered, so maybe I can find other ideas on how to kind of niche down my product from there. And once it pulls up all the products I want to check, I can just press AI Analyze. The Market Insight has loaded up and it's giving me even more amazing information on what color of the bird feeder people are buying most often, what the capacity, how much the bird feeder is actually gonna hold, which one's making the most sales. I can see 2.5 liters here is making more sales than any of the other size capacity of this bird feeder. Watch me press on color. Green is making the most sales. I can come down and see 
the sales of green, red, yellow, blue, light blue, the dimensions, the different size, everyone's making similar sales there. Dispenser type, automatic dispenser versus gravity. So we'd want an automatic dispenser, probably gonna make it easier for the feed to actually come out as opposed to this gravity feeder that's really not making as many sales. You can see gravity is in yellow at the bottom there, so it's not making as many sales. Uh, the material, most of them are just gonna be plastic. This would probably come in handy more with other products where material is a determining factor of a product. Maybe not so much for this one, but then we can see power source. Solar is making the most sales here. Um, electric and then battery. So solar would probably be the best one to go with from what I see. Look at this, solar is green here. And that is at the top making almost a million dollars a month. And that's the power of Shulix AI. You're able to really take a deep dive, way deeper than just trying to read the negative reviews like I was doing the other day, even down to which color people are buying more than the other colors. There's just so much information. You'd have to spend months trying to read reviews on your own to come up with this, where I'm able to do it all in you know five, 10 minutes of research. So. If you are interested in this, check out the link below in the description. Use my 20% discount code and you can even try this thing out for free. So happy researching guys. I will see you in the next video. Peace.